Okay, we're finally to the part in our process after we've prepared our graphics for Direct Publisher. And we've also pr prepared our JSON data file for Direct Publisher. And we've uploaded that data file to our website and we know the URL of it. We are finally ready to go ahead and start building a Direct Publisher Roku channel. So now we're going to go into our Roku account and we're actually going to start building, building that channel. So the first thing we're going to do when is I do want to go over a few things that you should know about Direct Publisher before we get started. When should you use Direct Publisher? Um, and it's important to know a few things. Direct Publisher is a fantastic tool for anyone who simply wants to build a channel quickly and get their videos online and not charge for it. And that's the key. Direct Publisher, um, it can be monetized, I'll show you that in a little bit, but it's monetized through advertising, which is very, very different than it be monetized through, um, for instance, charging for a subscription. So if you want to charge for a subscription for a channel, this is a great place to start building your content and look at your content and get it all set up. But when it actually comes to that, you're going to want to have an SDK channel. Um, you're not going to be able to charge subscriptions or make in-app purchases with Direct Publisher. You can monetize it for advertising and I will show you how, how, how that is done. So um, your channel must be free to watch. It does not require a paid description and you want to really build things very, very quickly. So Direct Publisher is kind of a perfect tool for all that. So with that, I'm going to go into, um, I've logged into my uh, Roku account here, and we're going to go, let me just back up here to the dashboard. This is where you usually come in. So you're gonna to wanna to choose the My Channels right here. And then you're going to want to choose a link that says manage my channels right here. So go ahead and choose that link. Now load up all the channels that you have. And we're going to want to click the add channel link at this point. Now this is where it asks you two very, very important questions. What type of channel are you building? And notice that it has direct publishers set automatically because it knows that that's the easy one and that's the simplest to build. But you also have developer SDK. And so be very mindful that you must choose direct publisher. Now down in the channel name, you're gonna put the name. So we put channel name, uh, let's just call it something, you know, big movie channel, okay? Let's just say that's the name. And then we would hit the continue button. So um, I'm going to pause the video for a moment at this point, and then I'll show you um, all the setup for the channel that we were working earlier on on the graphics. All right, so the very next screen that you would see once you set up your channel name and you've selected Roku Direct Publisher um, is this screen which is going to be the property screen. And it's one of several screens that we're going to be going over in this section. So you'll notice here uh, that manage my channels, that's kind of a um, shortcut to your dashboard and the different elements on your dashboard. And the properties is going to be, that dropdown is going to be how you navigate through the various screens of this channel. So we're going to go over the various screens of this channel and uh, how you should fill them out. So we got this classic TV and movies channel here, right? And um, let's talk about the channel stores first. You can put them in as many channel stores as you want. This one is only in the United States, Canada, Ireland, United Kingdom, and the language is English. However, you could choose to put your channel in all the channel stores. English speaking people uh, could pick it up even in the other countries and that's usually a pretty good idea. So um, in this case, this, this just channel is an older channel and uh, it's not highly in use um, today as it was previously, but it still um, could be monetized in all of those various app stores. So 
feel free to go ahead and check all the app stores you feel that would apply to your channel on this side. Also, if you have both uh, English and Spanish, for instance, language uh, videos, you could click English and you could click Spanish. And so that, that gives you even more reach into um, different app stores in different languages. Right now, we could go in the app stores here and in English because that's our channel. It's all in English. So the next thing we need to talk about is over here on the left. I mean, excuse me, the right. My channel is not directed to children under 16 and I have no actual knowledge that any, that any users are children under 16. So in most cases, unless you're putting children's programming, you're going to need to select this. If it's not, and your channel is targeted children under 16, you're going to need to check this box, and you're going to need to answer um, some, some questions. So if you check that box, then you would see that um, you would need to um, put a, a, a content rating under there, and that would go ahead and take care of that issue. Um, the uh, vanity access code is just an access code that you can use to access the channel. And then there's the URL here. Um, see how the vanity access code is at the end? Mm -hmm. You can change that vanity access code you want. You know, Bob's uh, cool channel. See? And then you can have that as your vanity access code. So you can pass out to people that a URL that you can go to and you can send it out in your email that you can go to and add my channel is this URL with my little custom uh, tag on the end of it there Bob school channel but for now we'll leave the vanity access code in this page as is when you were done you would go to save and save these settings then you would click on the properties here and um, then you would go to the second item which is feed URL In the monetization section, uh, if you have an agreement with an advertiser for running their ads on your channel, you would put the ad server URL here. And then you would create a document on your website, which is called your privacy policy URL. Your privacy policy is going to be everything that you need to state about people's privacy and how it's protected through advertising. You're going to find that out from your ad provider and you would put a link to that here. Uh, you'd want to put that on your website. I, I, um, I would copy that out and that would be you, your company, your business, you. You are providing that privacy guarantee to those that you advertise to. So that's really important. Finally, a default uh, Nielsen genre. Here's all the Nielsen genres and you're going to select a filter, default one. In this case, the movie channel, so we'd select feature film, and then we would save. These are in red because um, I've removed the um, URLs for um, security reasons in doing this video, and um, it, it wants them back in, but for now, they're out for um, security while I show the video because there are proprietary and um, there are, uh, you know, contracts that govern those particular URLs that are in here. Let me just go over one more thing as long as we're in this, um, this section. And that has to do with you can monetize your channel through Roku. But this is where I want to be really, really careful and cautious. Um, Roku, if you choose to try to monetize it through Roku, um, you're going to have to try to apply and usually small channels are not approved. So um, it used to be in the beginning I could get my channels monetized many years ago. Uh, since then, no. Channels cannot be monetized by Roku itself. Roku um, only makes agreements now with very large providers or very selected providers which they alone choose. So you're going to have to go out to a third party a uh, third party uh, ad server company. There's many of them and um, you need to make arrangements with them separately in order to put a uh, advertising URL in your channel. If you do that, 
you need to code uh, all of your ad breaks into the JSON file. And so that's a very important piece that you need to have. So if you need to, to um, monetize something, uh, I would say uh, either um, send me a message, drop me a line, we can go through the very specifics of monetizing your content. Um, the monetization of your content uh, can be done through ads. Those ads can play. They can play as often as seven minutes, every seven minutes in your content. That is a limit. They have to be at least seven minutes breaks, minimum seven minute breaks. All right, so let's go on to the next section. Um, support information. You just basically want to put your support information in here and you're going to have administrative and technical contacts that are going to go down here. This is my technical contact and, and administration information. And then if you need a test account, if for any reason they need to supply one, you can put it over here. You usually don't need test accounts in Direct Publisher. So I'm not sure why it's really there. There's no ability to log in for anyone in this system, but you, they do have that there for you. All right. And then finally, we're going to go down to a uh, preview and publish area. This is your final area. Once everything here is not read and is correct, you can select I confirm that I comply and then you can go ahead and schedule the publishing and they will tell you the times that your channel can be published. Now, the um, thing I would suggest in here is that you need to have everything ready before you click the publish button. So make sure none of these are red. If any of these are red, uh, that means that you have to go in and you have to clear that issue, whatever they're asking for. So all of these um, have to be blue like this and then click the confirm and then you could actually go down and you could actually um, go ahead and edit, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, publish the channel and have it submitted to Roku for approval. All right, so that is Roku Direct Publisher. So just go over these things real quickly once again. We've got properties the feed URL, the feed status, the branding, that's where you put it in most of the graphics, the layout, the categories, the channel store info, the monetization screen. By the way, you do not have to have monetization. I would just leave it off in the beginning because any advertiser is gonna want you to have a track record and already have customers. So as you're creating your first channel, do not try to put monetization on, it will not work. No one will go ahead and advertise on your channel sight unseen without knowing your traffic. So you're gonna to need to run your channel in free mode quite some time, get a track record before you go to monetization. Your screenshots, don't believe we went over screenshots, so let's go over that section. All right, so there's an ability to, um, to do a custom screenshot. All right, and um, that, that actually works out um, quite well. Just go ahead and delete this one for a minute, just for this point. See what it says, auto generate screenshot. That's the one I like to check. Just goes ahead and grabs your channel, figures it out, grabs it, and puts a screenshot right there. All right. So I like this because um, in this case, with the auto generated screenshot, I don't really have to go into a graphics program and to create a screenshot. So that saves me time. Just take a picture of what the channel, the home screen of the channel looks like, and we're done. But you can, if you want, add a custom screenshot from your hard drive. It's up to your choice. All right, I think that's about it. Preview and publish here. Just make sure we've caught everything. Yep, that's everything. And so that ends this section on how to create a direct publisher channel. Just note that once you do the submission, they will be in contact and they will be contacting you back and they will let you know any problems with your channel. And you will have to go back and forth with them and resolve any issues that they have. And that does it for this particular section. Thanks for um, 